Shabbat Shalom. Giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shar Bashem, Rawah Chakwadash. That one to the elder apostles of the great millstone rule well, peace and salutations. To the old four elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Question to you, Bishop Melchizedek. Question to you. Was Yahweh Shai and his disciples going off? Were they off? And that and, and that's a that's a direct question to you. All right. Because uh you left this comment and uh you, know, you had uh, the brother Amoan Abad, he, he saw the comment, he replied to it. I replied to it, and then the elder Apostle Tahar also replied to it. So this is what uh, he said. Of course he believes he is Yahweh Shah. He's referring to this bug out. All right, this this guy that I had to uh, expose, you know, he, he got a bunch of demons on him. He's totally spaced out, you know, claiming to be the Messiah, the second coming. But anyway... He says, of course he believes he is Yahweh because of the reincarnation doctrine you and other camps teach, which is off. Nowhere in scripture will you find reincarnation, which you find, or it's like your, what you will find is regeneration. So that's why I, it, it prompted me to respond. And I said, so Yahweh and his disciples were off? You realize what you're saying? Every, every every idle word <laughs> that man uh, shall speak. So was Yahweh Shai and his disciples going off? Then I posted the precept, and uh, you never addressed that. You never came back and responded to my comment, replying to your uh, comment. So uh, you know what say ye, man? Were they going off? Let your yea be yea or your nay nay. Were they going off? Now let's read it real quick. Let's go straight to it. Matthew 16 and 13, it says, When Yahweh Shai came unto the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So he's asking them, Who who are the people saying that I am? Right? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah. So why are they Mentioning these old prophets of old who've been, you know, put in their graves, who, who who slept with their fathers, men who are long gone, bodies disintegrated, decomposed back into the earth, sepulchers still in the in, in the uh, you know, down in in, in the ground, in in, in Shaul or or Hades. Why are they bringing up these old prophets who have been dead? Why are they? Saying that the people are saying that you're one of them coming back. Right? Or one of the prophets. And if it was such an off concept, and I mentioned this in the in the lesson I did responding to a bubble eyes of the GOCC. If this was such an off concept and this wasn't uh the norm amongst the Jews. Then why didn't the Lord rebuke them and, and, and tell them, you do err not knowing the scriptures? Why didn't he get at them like he normally got at the, the scribes and Pharisees who asked certain questions? These were all spiritual men. They understood the concept. It's not, it's not, it's not our fault that you're lost. We understand the scriptures say the carnal man. Or the natural man receives not the things of the spirit, but they are foolishness unto him. So that's why I'm I'm asking you this, all right? Because as the Lord asked them, who who are they? Who are the people saying that I am? Right? And then they said, well, they saying that you might be John, you might be Elijah, Jeremiah, you know, one of them old ancient prophets. And then he said. He said unto them, but whom you say, whom say ye that I am? You know, of course, the Holy Spirit revealed to Peter that he was, you know, the son of the Messiah, the, the, the Messiah, the Mashiach. Right. Now, let's go to the other account. And this is uh, Luke 9, and I got it in the, uh, the Christian Standard Bible version. 
right? And I'm going to read it. It's uh, Luke 9 and 18. Uh, in 19, it says, while he was praying in private and his disciples were with him, he asked them, who do the crowds say that I am? They answered, John the Baptist, others, Elijah, still others, that one of the ancient prophets has come back. Woo! So, were, were, were these people, were they going off? Or, or maybe, maybe they were insinuating that, you know, the Lord was uh, dealing with familiar spirits. For, oh, for those of you that deny that reincarnation is a biblical concept. They're, they're, they're flat out telling you that they believe that he's one of the prophets of old, the ancient prophets that was long gone, hundreds, hundreds of years prior to the Messiah. They were saying that they, th they think that one of them might be back. They thought that Yahweh Shai was one of them coming back. Back in the flesh. And what do you think reincarnation means? It means back in the flesh. Right? Now it says here in the Apocrypha, Sirach 36 and uh, 15, it says, give testimony unto those that, that thou hast possessed from the beginning. Because we know the Lord declares the end from the beginning, but he speaks through his prophets, the mouth of his prophets. And it, and it says in Daniel that, you know, when the, when the Lord, um, let me, let me, matter of fact, let me go to it. He told Daniel pretty much to, to, to you know, shut up the, the book. And it, and it was going to be sealed for a period of time. And at the end, he would stand in his lot in the last days. What is that going into? All right, Daniel 12 and 13, it says, But go thou thy way till he, it's like you, but go thou thy way till the end be. But thou shalt rest. I and mean, you're going to rest a little bit. You're going to rest in the spiritual realm. And stand in thy lot at the end of days. And we know that the end of days, the end of the days or the latter time started in the time of uh, the Messiah. When Yahweh Shai came on the scene. That was basically the beginning of the end. You see? So... What is this talking about? And then going back to this precept here, where it says, and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. What, what, what is that saying? Why would prophets that have been doing something have to be raised up? That means that you, you've been here before. Right? And what does it say in Ecclesiastes? Ecclesiastes 1. And verse uh, 9. And it says, The thing that have been, it is that which shall be. And and the thing which is done, that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Let's read that in uh, the NIV. And it says, <clears throat> What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. And what, what did the prophets do? They, they they prophesied, they testified. Right? And in the latter days, they will stand in a lot and they, they will do what? They will testify, they will prophesy again. There is no new thing under the sun. Okay? So the prophets that were of old, they will come back in their lot. That's what the scriptures is telling, telling you. And and the 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 Jews, uh, Yahweh Shai, the disciples, they all understood that. So my question to you is: Was Yahweh Shai and his disciples were they off? And then you also use the word regeneration too, right? You saying that reincarnation is is incorrect, but regeneration is what was taught. So the apostle 
told you that reincarnation and regeneration are one and the same. Because basically, like when you look up regeneration in the uh, in the Greek, it'll simply tell you that it means rebirth or renewal. Let's uh, let's let's uh, get that. Yeah, Matthew 19 and 28, it says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that you which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, right? You also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay? And that's going to be in the kingdom. They're not going to be in those bodies that they were in when the Lord told them that. Regeneration. Now, I'm not even sure how you pronounce this word, but I'll let them pronounce it. Strong's, Strong's G, G 3824. 30, Polygenesia. And it says new birth, reproduction, renewal, recreation. I mean, that sounded to me like reincarnation. I mean, generations have to be produced. And how are they produced? By sexual reproduction. You learn that in biology. You see? Now, matter of fact, let's go to uh, real quick. Let's go to Adam online. And let's look up the word rebirth. Because, yeah, there's a rebirth in the spirit. You know, basically, when we learned this word, you know, we went from uh, death to life. You know, once we heard this word and we received it and understood it, the Lord put that breath back into us. We became a living soul again. We're standing upon our feet. So the Lord did resurrect us spiritually when we heard this word. So there is a, a, a spiritual baptism of, of rebirth, but also there is reincarnation, too. So let's uh, look up that word rebirth. And look at the very first word used <laughs> in a definition, rebirth, reincarnation, repeated birth into temporal existence, renewed life or activity, you see, reanimation, regeneration, re meaning back or again, and birth. All right. And going back here, let's, let's, let's go to the King James Version. Luke 9 and uh, 19. And it says, They answering said, John the Baptist, but some say Elijah and others say that one of the old prophets is risen again. I right, mean, one of the prophets is back again. Okay. So I'm showing you all these, all this scriptural evidence. So what say ye, uh, Bishop Mel Melchizedek? All right, what 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 say ye? Was was Yahweh Shai going off? Was the disciples going off? What, what was Israel going off? You tell me. So anyway, I'm gonna end off with that, man. Call Lord Yahweh Shai until the next lesson. Shalom.